If you ever feel down about your design skills, be aware that even the largest companies with design teams of thousands make silly design mistakes. Here is one example from a big company, and today we're gonna focus on another one. Apple, which basically many people consider the best design-oriented company in the world. And this is what one section of their website looks like. Pretty underwhelming, right? And if you only have one product visible, why hide it under another click? Why making the process longer? So I'm gonna use Penpot and really quickly redesign this. So I'll start by duplicating that and placing the image in the background and now add some guides. Now we're gonna start with the text obviously and I don't have the Apple font so I'm gonna go with a different one because this is all about the layout anyway. So I'm gonna start by making this title your saved products because then we won't have to duplicate that text. I'm gonna create a white rectangle, put it in the background and then create this small edit button. And I'm gonna make actually a rectangle for it, just a white rectangle with a light border, then place it in the middle and then on the right there. Now I'm gonna go to Apple's website and grab an image of the iPad mini because this is actually what I have in my saved products. And I'm gonna create a nice looking rectangle with the same color that they have the rounded corners and place the iPad mini photo on it. Then for the title, I'm gonna write what kind of iPad it is. Then for the description, a little bit more information on it, make it smaller, make it a little bit thinner and lighter. And then we can add the view button. Of course, just clicking on the image will preview it as well, but it's good to have a button anyway. Now let's grab the second product. It's gonna be the Apple Watch Ultra. So I'm just gonna change the copy here as well. And since we already added that, let's actually move the view below and add the price here on the right side. That way you actually know what product you saved and how much was it. So just gonna make that price in the Apple Blue. And yeah, practically we're done here. I'm just gonna add a little indicator showing how many products you have here in a little circle, the same color next to our text. Just gonna tweak it a little bit. And yeah, here we are. That's the before and after. And I believe the one on the right is a lot easier to use. This is to show you that design isn't really that difficult and even the big ones make mistakes. So you don't really need to worry. Just focus on your skills and focus on growing a little every day. And when you do, you're gonna have a beautiful day. I